The dancing pallbearers meme features footage of Ghanaian pallbearers who perform choreographed dances at funerals while carrying a casket. The clips of the dancing pallbearers are often used as a sort of symbolic punchline to follow fail video clips. It exploded across the entire internet. We discovered that the dancing pallbearers were led by Benjamin Idu. I'm going viral. Do you know? I said, no, I don't know. <laughs> Benjamin was not trying to go viral at all. He's just somebody who was minding his own business and everybody gets obsessed with their dance and what they do for a living. The dancing that we do with the coffee. There's not everybody that can do that. So he's viral in China, he's viral in Japan, Latin America, everywhere. I have seen some toys that have been created out of this. I have seen t-shirts, some billboards. When the president of America treated it, I thought this is something else. The Ghanaian pallbearers themselves have even become a sort of symbolic representation of death or COVID. When Corona came, it took everybody by storm. You know, people were just dying. The gift of the meme is we're all talking about grief. Hello, this could do for a nice digital piece. Then that's the link. A lot of young boys are trying to make a living out of it and it's a booming business. What do you think? My name is Sule Lanta. I, I, I work as a video journalist in Accra, Ghana for the BBC World Service. That was about three years ago when, when my friend showed me this video of these guys dancing with a coffin. And I thought, I mean, this is interesting. So I began to look for them. And I mean, you see these guys with the moves, moves after moves after moves. There was something else that day. In 2017, the video did extremely well. It hit about 1 million views in a day or two. But three years later, it was a different kind of thing. The meme has reached a astronomical level. My name is Don Caldwell, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Know Your Meme. Know Your Meme is primarily an internet culture encyclopedia that focuses on nailing down the origins and history of a variety of viral internet phenomena. While we aren't 100% sure who started this video remix series, the earliest video that we discovered was originally uploaded to TikTok at the end of February 2020. While there have been numerous videos of Ghanaian pallbearers dancing that have been uploaded to the internet, this particular BBC video titled Ghana's Dancing Pallbearers, uploaded in July 2017, became the iconic video used in this video remix series where it was paired with Tony Iggy's Astronomia and various fail video clips. When the BBC first released their Ghanaian pallbearers video, it was pretty successful in its own right. But after the video became a meme amid the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, it absolutely exploded in popularity to a whole new level. The second wave of it was massive. It was global. It was worldwide. After the meme began to skyrocket in popularity, we discovered that the dancing pallbearers were led by Benjamin Idu. You know, I called Benji and said, Charlie, what's happening? And he said, I'm a superstar now. I tell you, I'm the goddess. <laughs> we have a whole, you know, different suits, different attires. I have a whole set of shoes. I have black and white. I have all whites. I have black and red. See, look at my shoe that I'm wearing. As black and white. My name is um, Benjamin Aidu, um, the CEO of Nana Otakuda Wall Bearing and Waiting Service. I decided to do this business because of, you know, hardship in Ghana, you know, we have the poor family. In Ghana, for their tradition, is families and sympathizers that they carry their coffin from the mall the cemetery. You need to get something that is quality, not quantity. So I, I sat down and analyzed myself. Why don't we start doing this dance with the coffin? I didn't do anything. I guess I'm just there. I'm still working. You know, I didn't know of anything. I was just working and then boom. This meme has absolutely exploded in popularity across the entire world. That's who did the first place. 
that person is I love that person. <laughs> I, I woke up to lots of messages on my phone and people said, do you know your video is trending in China? And then I kept seeing different, different, different versions. Their faces are everywhere. If you go on TikTok, they're crazy parodies on TikTok. If you go on Facebook, YouTube, people are doing merchandise from this. People are doing shops. People are even doing face masks. Companies like in China who had like their own t-shirt designs and they were like, hey, can we license this image for a certain amount of money. If he was given an option to do it for free, I think he would definitely do it. He really loves what he does. Benjamin is just about all bearing, undertaking, and just the passion. Anytime I go to the field and we start carrying the container, I see people crying. You know, I feel sad. Sometimes I feel sad. Sometimes I feel bad. Sometimes you know, I feel upset. I ask myself that question. Why should you want the death? I know the lifespan the person spent on earth. You know what the person impacted in you. You know what the person did for you. So you need to celebrate that person. Our way of you know, saying goodbye to the dead, we will give them morale, we will boost their morale, we will just bring out a dance for people to stop crying and then you know, start cheering us. That is why I brought up this dance. The clips of the Ghanaian pallbearers are so striking and charming. This kind of morbid humor may have been seen as refreshing to people who were experiencing a time of global crisis. Here comes the pandemic, and this epic viral video is turned into a meme. The latest on the coronavirus emergency. So many lives lost in this pandemic. More than 225,000 lives lost. And everybody from different parts of the world is sharing it. And the message was just simple. Stay safe or you die. Stay safe or you dance with us. And it just played into the entire coronavirus season. Benjamin and his crew, I mean, he's gone viral. He's gone global right because people are identifying with what they are doing my name is eve my background is in religious studies Ghanaian relationship with death i mean i would say it's part of the daily living that is why funeral is a process it's not an event that is held in a day and that is it it's a process that continues because we want to make sure that we maintain that relationship the west has its own way of supporting bereaved members. It's not on a communal level as it is in Ghana. Seeing Benjamin and the entertainment that he has to read, even though we are grieving, we should also make room for the living to smile for the angle that he's adding to the grieving, the global grieving that is going on. When I saw the meme had gone viral during this pandemic didn't surprise me at all. Hi, I'm David Kessler. I'm the author of Finding Meaning and the founder of Grief.com, as well as a grief specialist. The stages of grief apply to actually any change that we didn't want. And COVID is a change we didn't want. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. These stages are not a map. They're not linear. There's no one model for grief, and there's no right way to do grief. I was eight years and my father died. My dad died in front of me. But for me, seeing my mom crying, you know, uncontrollably, and then seeing people falling unconsciously and stuff, I said, wow. So we need to sure, truly move on with life. You know, we need not to think of it. We need to celebrate that person, make sure we know what a person can and live in life in, in, in the world. The sixth stage of meaning that I've identified, when we talk about meaning, meaning isn't in the death. Meaning is in us. It's what we do afterward. You know, I always try to copy my father because anything I do, my mom will say, yes, you are like a father. Everything you do, you are like a father. That is how. So I know whatever I do, my father is doing. Grief occurs, of course, when someone dies. It's also just the grief of the world we knew months ago. That grief, that world is gone forever. People don't realize the discomfort you're feeling is grief. I think sometimes as Americans, we've gotten stuck in there's a right way to do things. 
And the reality is there's many ways to do things. And this meme and the dancing pallbearers are showing us there's a lot of ways to do it. And we get to see different families in a really global platform. I said to myself, no, we need to celebrate the dead. And I need to push this agenda to the people who understand it. Death is common to everybody anywhere in the world. I mean, you don't have friends or loved ones with you to laugh with uh, because of the COVID, but you've got Benjamin. So if culture is evolving, we're picking and choosing from culture every day. And what you see in a culture would help you cope with the COVID. Why not? Why not go for it? <laughs> now people have adapted what I'm doing. They appreciate what I'm doing. And I'm happy about that. When death is in the air, we need a way to release it. And people don't understand laughter is sometimes the way we deal with uncomfortable emotions. I always want to remember, I want to enjoy life. So I don't want COVID-19 to come for me. Because for now, I can say I'm an ambassador for coronavirus. I always need in mind to stay safe. Otherwise, we are there. I'm going to dance with you. <laughs> I'm from nowhere, from zero to zero. I feel great. In fact, I feel great. I feel happy. I feel like, you know, I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the moon. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. I'm the moon now. <laughs>